What was the exact reason you were given or your representatives were given by people at Fox News for your firing? There was no reason. Um, they had a, an, a contractual uh, clause. That what was the reason you know, they said they were You know, there was a sponsor boycott uh, engineered by Media Matters, uh, the radical left group. accused of sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. You said at the time you did absolutely nothing wrong. Correct. Do you stand by that? I do. Doesn't it seem safe to assume that the people at Fox News were given a piece of information or given some evidence that simply made it impossible for you to stay on at Fox News? I, I, that's a false assumption. There were a lot of other business things in play at that time and still today um, that 21st century was involved with. And it was a business business decision that they made. But there isn't any. Um, but you don't let your number one like guy that. go sure you unless do. you have there, information that you think makes him. That's not true. There are billions of dollars at stake in business 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 uh, deals, and uh, they made a business 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 decision that they could, you know, possibly prosper more without me. It was as simple as that. It was a business, 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 business decision. Did you ever send a lewd text or email to another employee at Fox News? No. I worked for 12 companies. Not one time did I have any interaction with HR, or any complaints filed against me. The New York Times reported that up to five women had come forward over the years and complained about sexual harassment at your hands. And that Fox News actually made deals with those women, financial settlements amounting to about $13 million for their silence. Every company in this country, including this one, Comcast, has these lawsuits. Every allegation in this area is a conviction. They don't look for the... But think about those five women um, and what they did. They came forward and filed complaints against the biggest star at the network they worked at. Think of how intimidating that must have been, how nerve-wracking that must have been. Doesn't that tell you how strongly they felt about the way they were treated by you? Well, it's not just me. Those lawsuits involved many other people, not just me. The lawsuits involved many people, many But you people. were also named. I was named in a few of them a few of them. Let me put a period on it this way, Bill, by asking you, over the last six months since your firing, have you done some soul searching? Have you, have you done some self-reflection? And have you looked at the way you treated women that you think now or think about differently now than you did at the time? What I have done is organized a legal team. This was a hit job. A political and financial hit job. Is this a Engineered vast left-wing conspiracy? No, vast, and don't be sarcastic. It's absolutely the far left and PC forces want to wipe out our legacy. You know why? Do you know? No. Because they believe it's based on white supremacy. It's no accident we're hearing that word now, those words, white supremacy. The book is out now. It's in bookstores and online. Bill O'Reilly, thanks, thanks very much. In. It's good to right. see you.